Hi, I'm Gareth from Taste of Bulgaria, where I aim to show you the best of one of the most underrated countries in Europe, maybe even the world. Ever wondered why the fruit is so cheap here in Bulgaria? Well, I'm going to show you today exactly why. So that's what's coming up. So I'm going to start today's episode by actually answering one of the questions I regularly get asked here on all my social media. I mean, people in the group Taste of Bulgaria, if you're not part of that group yet on Facebook, don't forget, come and have a look, check it out. You can also input things there on that group yourself. Is what is the weather and the climate like here in Bulgaria? I'm going to give you a little quick overview. So, especially here in Varna, it's very hot in summer, spring and autumn, quite mild, but this is the best times and it can get very cold in winter time. Actually, over the past few years, I've not noticed a lot of snow in the center of Varna, but in the surrounding villages, there is a lot of snow. But this year, thrown a spanner in the works. The whole of June has been raining, just like England. I, don't, I hope I have not brought the weather over with me. As you can see, today is July. It's a little bit overcast, very windy. It's still warm. I've still got my shorts on, and I'm gonna have a venture for you today. So let's see. So Bulgarians are very well known for farming. They're amazing farmers. Every second family have access to people who live in villages and they grow their own stuff organically. It's absolutely amazing. This is why the produce here tastes so good. And on today's episode, I'm gonna show you why fruit is so cheap here in summertime. Because it's everywhere. You don't need to go to forests. You can even forage in big cities, like here in Varna. Now I'm just outside the center of Varna in a little few neighborhoods because now is the perfect time of year everything's starting to ripen up a bit so come with me now and we're going to see what we're going to find so i mean just look here now look this yellow sliver a jolch sliver yeah look Amazing. Still a lot that's unripe there, but you go, you go for this once. It's a little bit bad. Look. Check if they're soft and they're ripe. And look, there's some more over here. Yeah. I mean, and this is just in the middle of a residential area. Take a few. So let's go and just have a little walk around and see what else we can find. See what I was talking about? This is July and it's starting to rain a little bit and it's quite windy. But look, I found some of the red ones. Yeah, these are a little bit high up. Don't know if I can get to them. Let's have a little look, see if we can find some a bit lower down. Here, these are good. No. These are a little bit still too hard, so they, these need a little bit more time. They need to go a little bit more redder. I think this one's high up. They're looking good, but it's difficult to get to them. See, I found another red one here. Now, some of them are going purple, so these have got to be good. Where you check them, just check if they're a little bit soft. Like this one, a little bit soft. And you can take them. Look at this one, look at this one. Yes, this is definitely right. Yeah. Another one there. Yeah. You can see here, look, pears. Pear tree. Yeah. But this is a while off yet. Still got a, a, another two months at least on them before you can take them. You see really high up? Some really great ones up there. Oof. Look here. Yes, these are soft. These are gonna be great. What's very important though, make sure that these trees are not in somebody's garden. If they're in somebody's garden, that's somebody's property. But it's a thin public place you can take. And also, only take a little bit. This is for everybody. Not for you to take everything, make some rakia with it, or take it and sell it. This is for you just to take a little bit at a time. All the babas are doing this. You be responsible. You don't take everything. You don't be greedy. So it's very important when you do this, guys, please, yeah? Take a small little container and don't overfill it. It's, it's, it's just fruit on every single corner. It's amazing here, absolutely amazing. Look here, we've got some figs. Figs, it's not the season just yet. They've still got a bit to go. 
but then when you know where they are, you can come back and pick them up. It looks like they're going to be big ones then. They're growing very nice. And just down there, there's loads. And look at this, walnuts, amazing. Look, they're starting to get big. Them are not ready yet. There's a few more months on them, but you could pick them now and you can make things like uh, liqueurs. Petia likes to make liqueur from green walnut. You put it in some rakia with sugar and then you let the sun uh, ferment it a little bit more. And then there you go. In a few months, you've got some nice walnut liqueur. I'm not joking. It's on every single corner. See, sliver more, some uh, walnuts more there. And just over here, let's have a look. So now I've hit the jackpot. My, one of my favorite fruits, cherries. Look at this. Cherries just growing. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. This is why you find that cherries are so cheap. Now it's gonna be tricky for me to get some of these. So this is a prime example, as you can see that is inside somebody's property. It's behind a fence. So it means you shouldn't be taking these things from there. Yeah? But like I said, if it's in the middle of the public part, it's all fair game. As long as you don't overdo it and take too much. Really red sliver. Oh, look at these. Look at these beauties. Amazing. See, look here, apple tree. Obviously these are not ready yet. They've still got another month or so to go. But I mean, isn't it just amazing how you can just pick the, the fruits from the trees in the middle of the streets, in the middle of a big city? Well, you can do the same in small villages. Never underestimate that. I'll show you now. If you're somebody who's been living or visiting Bulgaria in summer for a long time, I'm really curious to know what you think about the weather this year 2021. I'd like to know if you've ever seen this kind of weather in Bulgaria. Let me know in the comments below. So now we're into the village and here is absolutely crazy. It's full, full everywhere with trees. Never underestimate. Just going for a little drive in the village and see what you can find. Let's have a look now. Okay, so I've stopped here. I found another surprise. Look, look, my favorites again. Cherries, but this one is Vishna. Amazing. In English, sour cherry. I'm going to take some of them. I mean, usually the Vishna is quite sour. And what you want to do with this is you make syrup. So you make uh, compote. It's all organic. Nobody's spraying these. You know, they're not cutting them. So you just know it's all organic. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I got a quick question for you that you can write your answer in the comments below. If you live in one of the big cities in Bulgaria, is it the same like Varna with fruit trees everywhere? Right, so we'll just have a little drive around now, see what we've got here. See some more, oh, there's an apples there. Apples there. They're even starting to get a bit of color on them then. See, things all uh, ripen in different areas at different times. Look at that massive walnut tree. That's an absolutely huge walnut tree there. Four wee walnuts. Yeah, that's what we've got here. Look, more. Some more cherry there. Oh, look at this. Senior sliver there. Senior sliver there. Some more sliver there. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, check this. Check this. This is amazing. This is amazing. Okay. Just check this. 
Oh, this is Chernitsa. Chernitsa. Oh, amazing. I'm not even sure what this is in English. If you know what this is in English, it's, it looks a bit like mulberry, but it's on a tree. It can't be, it's on, it's on a tree. I'm gonna look, but if anybody knows what this is in English, please write in the comments below. In the villages, you, it, it does have a lot of these berries. I mean, blackberries come in in September. I've not seen raspberries, but I mean, I've not seen strawberries also in the village. You're usually finding them in the forest, but oh, amazing, amazing. Driving down and again slivers everywhere and walnuts. I mean, I don't know how many times I should say that. I think I need to cut it from the video. It's absolutely full though, honestly. See? You know, and the thing is, the trick is in, in the UK, we're not really taught about what trees are trees. In Bulgaria, you ask them and they know by the leaves. And this is how they know what tree it is and what to expect from that tree. I mean, I've had to learn these things. Slowly, slowly, I'm learning even more um, what exactly is what. You know, and you, this is how you do, you find out from the leaves. So when you take something from a tree, try to remember the leaves. Oh, and look what we have here. Look what I've found here. You know this uh, Chernitzer? Biawa Chernitzer. Oh, these are super sweet. These are absolutely amazing. Oh my. Look at all these. Be our turn it to. Oh, you need to get them really big ones, the really big white, white, white ones. Juicy ones. Oh, yeah. Another big one, let's go for that one and we'll call it a day. Yeah. Oh. Now we're going to sneak this one as well. So let's get back home and see what we found. So yeah, now I'm back home and uh, let's have a look at what we got. So that you can see it's been quite a fruitful day. So we've got some red sliver, red plums, got some darker plums there, some yellow plums. We've got some cherries, my favorite, second favorite fruit. Then we've got some vishna. Yeah, you can see they're a little bit smaller than the cherries. Then we're sour, you can only really use them for juice, compote, you know, and jam and things like that. And then here, this one is Chernitzer and Biawa Chernitzer. I found out that it is actually mulberry. See, I thought mulberry was always a bush, but sometimes mulberry can grow into a tree. Let's have a little try. Start with the yellow plum. And you know, nobody takes care of this by trimming it, by putting any chemicals, insecticide. So this is 100% organic. You cannot beat that, you cannot beat it. Yeah, and we know it's uh, ripe because it's soft. Mm. Full of flavour. Now this mulberry. Mm. The white one, this is the best. This is really sweet. This is super sweet. Mm. Kind of like dragon fruit, this white one. It's got a taste of like dragon fruit. Cherries. My sour cherries. I don't mind to eat the sour cherries. I like things a little bit sour, but they're my super sour. Definitely better for a juice. So if you've liked this video, yeah, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want some, to see some other amazing things in Bulgaria, then you should pick this video here. And if you want some ideas, tips for summer, pick this video here. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.